Hello once again, and thank you for tuning into The Platformer. You're currently watching our Let's Play of Bastion. For more Let's Plays, co-op commentaries, and other shenanigans, simply subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I still remember the look on his face after that one. There we go. Had some time to adjust my mic, so let's see how this sounds. Yeah, tired of sounding really loud. Okay, monument. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. But the middle world never existed. <laughs> Ancient spices. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Alright. That made a whole lot of sense. Sometimes oh. a single look says it all. Alright, so... <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a forge. A lot of things need fixing up in this world. And we can start right here. Alright, um... Let's reload versus ammo. Reload for ammo. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. Critical versus 50. Kids um, lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Kind of a no-brainer. Can I fall off here? Can't be too careful wow. these days. I can fall off here. Well, at least it doesn't do anything. Nope, doing those in a separate video. Videos. Um. <clears throat> the dead welcome him with open arms. Clearly. Alright, so... This looks like a happy summer vacation. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. Sorry, had to check something there. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. I guess not. <laughs> Okay, I guess I can't walk on that. Trial and error. Oh hey, this is an old barge. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone away like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Hey. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. Wait, what? Just ain't got time for answers. The 
Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Oh, you fooled me. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy. Didn't make it. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. This is depressing. Grady Senior, Grady Junior, they didn't make it. But him, he survived. It's depressing, but hey, at least there's health and beer. And a sigil. Kid finds proof enough. It's that a shovel ain't from around here. It's a hand shovel. Of course he's in from around here, he's still alive. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? Oh, get out of here. I don't think I can switch, uh... The core survived as well. Kid does what he has to do. Oh, that's part of the... Okay. Sorry, I'm a lewd person. And then... What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Nothing. He Get says a clue, but he says this. Time to go. We have to go. Oh, I was close. Please. I was close. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other. For the first time. Well, hello, Zolf. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city. And he's lived here ever since. Hmm. Rux finds that. Rux. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. Well, look what we have here. Awesome found. Wait, what's that do? Okay, nice. I'm gonna say memorial. The memorial. Here yeah, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Huh. Oh, so I guess these are in-game challenges, it looks like. Huh, maybe I'll do videos on those too. Another time. Words can't express what happened. 
but they're all I got. Hey, it's good to have. Words are very expressive. Find a new weapon. Alright, well, so much for that. Um, oh, wait. There we go. Uh, come on, give the little tiger a break. What? Track down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Okay, so the shrine to the god of Komo. Oh, all right. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. So I'll sleep instead. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull, Pith Orchard. The place is a dead end in more ways than one. No, no. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. What's this way? Huh. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Are you kidding? If the kid was a god, then I'd have beat the game already. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Typical. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Something coarse. Right. This is a bit too easy. Kinda okay, that leads to oblivion. Piv makes a decent scarecrow at least. Wait a minute. What's going on? Was that? Then Biff lights up like a rodeo. Oh, whoops. Just halfway at it. All right. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Who's that? Oh. Okay. Kid breaks into bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. Right. Take a little bit of that. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods? Or tell them off? Um, wait, what? Foes, so... Really? Piv. Let's go for it. Let's do it. I'm feeling Kid a bit of a challenge. Press his luck. Well, if oh the gods my. are alive, they must be plenty sore.
kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. Precious shrine. This is very true. <laughs> 